Hi, Dad. Hi. Well, Caleb. Uh, it's actually Caleb. Yeah. Well, Merry Christmas. Yeah, Merry Christmas. So, um, how are things? Oh, fine. A bit busy because of the current health, but yeah, everything's fine. How about you? I'm doing well. Uni's going good. My tutors are telling me that the work I'm doing is brilliant. Oh, that's good. What, what are you studying? Creative writing. Right. Mm -hmm. Any plans for Christmas? Well, I'm in tier three and can't go anywhere, so no. I'm going to Mum's. Are you? No. Well, what? Oh, business meeting in five minutes. Oh, sorry, Caleb, I've got to go. I'm supposed to be in a meeting. The CEO is yelling at me. I don't hear anything. Aren't you at home? Oh, really? Oh, it must be your computer. Uh, um, anyway, see you later. Bye. Bye. Caleb? Hi, Mum. Merry Christmas. How are things at uni? Are you looking forward to coming home? Well, uh, I'm not getting my hopes up. I'm uh, getting tested tomorrow to make sure I'm <coughs> <coughs> cleared to go home. Oh, dear. I are you feeling okay? Well, um, I've been coughing quite a lot and my throat is a bit sore, but I thought that was because of the cold weather. I've had my hoodie off several times this week because I was really hot. I mean, are you sure you'll be able to come home? I'll get the test tomorrow, but I don't want to put you at risk. Oh, oh you won't. Mum, it's been nine months since you've got out of hospital. With all the chemo you had and the surgeries they did to you, it's, it's too risky. It's just, isn't going to be the same without us all being together. It wasn't the same since you and Dad got divorced. Well, I tried to make it work, but you know how your dad is. I know. Listen, I'll talk to you tomorrow when I get my results, OK? OK. OK. I'll see you, love. <coughs> Bye, Mum. Hi, son. Hi, Mum. Bad news? Positive. Oh, so it's good news. No, I tested positive for COVID-19, but they've assured me that the symptoms are only minor. It still means that I won't be able to come home. Okay, well, yeah, I understand. Hi, Mum. Oh, hi, little bro. Didn't expect to see you on here. Hi to you too, Lisa. I didn't know Lisa was coming on here. I've not seen her in a long time. 
Lisa, did you hear about Caleb? He's got COVID. Can't come home for Christmas. I act might not be coming home for Christmas. London could be going into tier four lockdown. How much they fine me for leaving a tier four area? Ten thousand pounds, which is difficult to pay on a busker's wage. So, what do we do then? I don't want to leave Mum alone at Christmas. We could do something on Christmas Eve online. Yeah, I could put a quiz together. together and we could all do it together as a family. And we could also wear those Christmas hats to get out of Christmas crackers. And maybe we can see if Dad is free and get him on the call. I've not spoken to Dad in ages. He's always busy. Well, I talk to him sometimes. Your al his alimony is putting you through university. Um, Mum, could you perhaps try to persuade Dad to come online with us? Well, I've got his email address, so maybe I could try and contact him. <sighs> Thanks, Mum. I know that this year has been a total crap fest, but I hope that we can still make the most of this Christmas. Amen to that. Bowen. Hi, Stephen. Can I talk to you? Well, my time is precious. What do you want? The kids and I are organising a video call for Christmas tomorrow and they're asking if you'll be available to join us. Oh, is Caleb organising this? Caleb. And yes, he is organising this. Well, look, I don't know if I'll be able to find the time. I'm, my schedule's booked. On Christmas Eve, when everyone else is at home in the pandemic, no less. Christmas is a busy time. And you can spare a bit of that time for your family. I mean, just being divorced doesn't mean we can't all spend time together as a family. Fine. I'll see what I can do. Great. Five o'clock all right? <sighs> yeah, it's all right. Thanks for that. Bye. Yeah, bye. He's late. You told us he would be here, Mum. Said he'd do see what he could do. You told him five o'clock, right? Yes. I'll get it. Everybody. Hi. Hi. Hi, Dad. Hi, everyone. Hi, Caleb. Caleb. Caleb, sorry. Why don't you put on that hat I got you four Christmases ago? Oh, God, do I have to? Dad, it's Christmas. Please, can you put it on? Fine. Hang on. There. This looks nice on you. <laughs> So everybody, I have put together a lovely little Christmas quiz for us all. Now, this quiz is going to be 
five rounds each with ten questions. <coughs> Sorry. Oh, bless you. Uh, let's start, shall we? Round one will be Christmas films. So, everybody mute your mics. And if you get stuck on a question, feel free to type in the chat. How many reindeers does Santa have? Hey, Neb, do we have to name the reindeers? No, you just have to put down how many. Dad? <clears throat> Dad? Dad! It's Rudolph, is that right? No. No, it isn't. Are you looking up the answers on your phone? No. I was actually just texting my assistant about a work thing. Great. I spend all day arranging a fun... Yuletide evening with the family, and I get this frigging Muppet messing with his phone. Al, uh, there's no need to be rude, Caleb. Caleb! Caleb! How frigging hard is it to pronounce my name? <coughs> <coughs> You named me after Grandad. Apart from calling him Dad, you didn't bother remembering his name as well. I'm not liking your tone, young man. No, Dad. I'm not liking your tone. Caleb spent all day preparing this, and you look like you're not even happy to be here. Well, what do you expect? I have work. And your mum frigging guilt tripped me into being here. I guilt tripped you? You should want to be here. Get out of this, Ellen. This is between me and Caleb. No. Let's bring mum into this. In fact, let's bring everyone into this. Because I had to convince mum and Lisa into giving you another chance. And they did. And you know why we did that? Because it's Christmas. A time for kindness and forgiveness. A time for pricks like you to change. But you're still the same. Having no regard for your wife or your kids. Hey, I... Did you even visit Mum when she was in the hospital? No. Who took care of her? risking nearly having to repeat an entire year of my course to take care of her. Me. Do you know what I've been doing for the first couple of months of lockdown? Busking my ass off to pay for mum's chemo. And did you even offer to help us and give us the money? No. We're divorced. It's not my problem. My duties are to put you two through university, and that is it. Your mother is not my priority anymore. I'm on my phone for one text, and you lot gang up on me. This is stupid. Caleb. Yes, Mum? Would you be so kind as to put your father and I in a breakout room? I'd like to have a few words with him. Oh, um, OK. Done. There, you talk down to me and the kids. 
when we did nothing wrong. I asked you to do one thing for them, and you didn't. All they desired was a nice family Christmas, like things used to be. We moved from London all the way to Manchester to have a normal life. But you didn't want to be stuck with a three-year-old Caleb and six-year-old Lisa. Ellen, I... No, you will listen to me, for fuck's sake. I have to juggle supervising a local supermarket and being a mother while you were too busy going fancy lunches. Not only that, you didn't show me any affection. You know, that love that you used to show when we first got married. And the children just wanted to see their father at this time. You know, Caleb's doing really well at uni. He might even be up for an award. And Lisa's had to busk her way through uni. She's got a magnificent voice. You didn't even care to see them. No wonder we got divorced. I mean, did you even know that Caleb's got COVID? He wanted to come home for Christmas. So did Lisa, but London's in a tier four lockdown. I mean, in this harsh time, we, we need each other and they do. I remember you telling me that our kids are going to go off to uni and you're going to miss it. And you know what? You were right. I want to fix this. If you'll let me. Yes, I will. I'll text Kayla to bring us back to the main session. But prepare for the whiplash. Dad, do you have something to say to me and Lisa? Caleb, Lisa, I want to apologise for my behaviour tonight, but I don't just want to apologise for tonight. I want to apologise all the times I was never there for you. See this? It's not important to me anymore. You three are. And I promise that I'm going to be there for you more often from now on. Hey, Leb, I'm so sorry to hear about your diagnosis. Anything you call me, me any time, day or night. Your, your mother also tells me you're up for an award, is that right? Yes. yes, that is correct. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. I really hope you get it. Oh, thanks, Lisa. Dad. That's all right. And Lisa, I'm so sorry for not supporting you through university. I hear you're busking now. Do you like music? Yes, it's very therapeutic to me. I don't think I can do anything else. I've played in loads of pubs before the pandemic and I enjoyed it so much more. And I'm hoping that once all of this is over, it can bring that up and fully to devote myself to. Hey Lisa, why don't you sing us something? Oh, no, no, I'm okay. Besides, I don't know what to sing. It's Christmas. Why don't you sing us something Christmassy? Sing for us, and then we'll go back to the quiz. Go on, Lisa, please do it. Do it for me. Should old acquaintance be forgot 
I'm never born to mind Should old acquaintances be forgot And days of old land died For old land died my For old land died We'll take a cup for kind yet for the days of old land time. Yay! Merry Christmas, everybody! Merry, Merry Christmas! Christmas.